Let's read uh, Romans 12. Are you booking your baroma? Chapter 12. From verse 18 to 21. Verse 18 to 21. Let's read. It says, if possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Amen. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave the way open for God's wrath and his judicial righteousness. For it is written in scripture, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome and conquered by evil, but overcome evil with good. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can we write long suffering? Long suffering. Sometimes I used to think that long suffering and patience, they look the same. But I found that you can have patience when you're waiting. But long suffering, I'm talking about when you understand what you are waiting You can endure anything. The reasons why we can have long suffering is because vengeance belongs to God. Vengeance belongs to God. Now we really understand that we are enemies. And we have been given a channel of how we can deal with our The vengeance, if it belongs to God, it means we have to treat our enemies like friends. The Bible says when we do that, we leave a way open for God to we leave a way open for the wrath of God. That's what the Bible says. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. And by doing that, you are destroying your enemy. Feeding your enemy, you are destroying your enemy. You are putting calls on his head. You are pinning his head. Do you think when your head is bending, you, you, do you have focus? You, you, are, you are scattering his ideas. You are confusing his place. The way of dealing with your enemies is his plans, his visions. You, are, you, you overcome your enemy because your enemy won't understand his vision. Put calls on his head. When it's burning, you have to ah, so be confused. Know. You have to scatter. Now we are reading here the Bible shows we cannot react when we are facing what we are facing. We do not react. We leave it like that. There are two things that I was learning when I'm reading here. It shows that a person who's having a long suffering is a person who has been strengthened. Number two is a person that his vision is clear. He can see where he's going. If you know there's a blessing that is coming. You won't worry about the challenge you are facing now. Satan always is there to distract you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. He's 
there to give you direction by the challenge of So a child of God who is strengthened who is also having a clear vision will be able to suffer long. Suffering long is as good as tolerance. You know, I was reading concerning Joseph. If we can just read there, let's just read something. The book of Genesis. We read 45. Genesis 45. Verse 5 to 8. You Verse hear what five. Joseph say? 5 to 8. Now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. Yes. For God sent me ahead of you to save life and preserve our family. Uh-huh. For the famine has been in the land these two years. And there are still five more years in which there will be no plowing and harvesting. Mm. God sent me to Egypt ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on the earth. Mm. And to keep you alive by a great escape. So now, it was not you who sent me here, but God and but God, and He has made me a father to Pharaoh and Lord of all his household and ruler over all the land of Egypt. Can, can you hear that? Hallelujah. Because long suffering can help you to understand the will of God. It, it really makes you to understand the will of God. Joseph, when he was facing all, Joseph, he could not forget that his brother sold him. You, you can hear we are talking about it. Is him telling them. What is the reasons why they sold me? Okay, let me tolerate. Okay, let me just tolerate. When they came, from the first instance he saw them, he was supposed to have killed them. He was supposed to have killed them because already he is a leader even above Pharaoh. He could say, I don't want to see them. And it makes him to see clear. And to understand the purpose of God there. Why, Why he was brought there. Now, he's able to explain. To them. That it's not you. Who sold me here. It's not you Asilina. who sold me yes. here. This is the will of God. Because they say, look, there's a family. And all of you now, you are coming here. Long suffering is good. Because it makes you a leader tomorrow. You are found in the agenda of God. agenda one of the problems we have is when we face some challenges, challenges, we figure out our will. When we see we are slaves, any wrong way of taking us out becomes an opportunity. Understand that Joseph was the same man who was offered position in the house of Potiphar. But he said, I do Mara. have limits, though I'm there here. There are things I cannot do because, because I'm not, not ending here. A person who understands is still going somewhere. He values his stand and understands the limits. 
He can rather face a, a challenge, challenge and and tolerate having long suffering. Tolerate. Let's say one day I will move out from this place. There are some people who are here who never want to see so that you will be caged there. But I am here to tell you that the Lord wants you to have that long suffering heart. When you start to have it you will begin to understand why you are there. Why you are married there? Why, you Why you are working there? Why you, there? Why you are born in Why that family? Because sometimes you question, I Why wish I was not born in the family. family. Because you don't understand the reason Why you are there? There was a time I was looking at myself in the mirror. Like, this is what I look like. I was looking at myself. I said, what happened? I know these people are my parents. What happened? What happened? Why I, I look different? Why you give up And why all the time why you say I look like Nigerians? But tomorrow it's only man Nigeria. Because there's a purpose of God. God only limo rawa mo timo. I mean your body. Lena mele wa lena. Was tailor made that way. Oi la wa diru wa katsi na yai. That way with the purpose. And nobody can steal and from you. You are born with something that will never die. Says I'm born with something that will be revealed. Says it will be revealed. Says it will be revealed. Says I'm born with something that will be revealed. That will be revealed. So now, listen. The pot is long suffering. Oh, you are put there. The pot in pain. They put disease inside. The pot. You are, you are alone. When with all the challenges in the challenge pot. Let me challenge you. Sometimes you face demotion. When I was in America, I was. Hearing one of my brothers from Zimbabwe. He was telling me that the best way of living in the US is to understand your situation before it happens. Before the worst happens, you downsize. So the best way is downsizing. It's not to compromise you are still on the same place. Understand, understand your situation and understand this is a season. Just say, hey, this is a season. It looks like situation wants you to downsize. Yes, go there, but hey, you, won't, you won't be there forever. I said you won't be there forever. You, you, won't, you won't face that scarcity forever. forever. You won't face that challenge forever. I don't know if you are hearing me. When you begin to understand yourself, how to motivate and the vision is clear. Don't be troubled. Because really you can be troubled. You can ask yourself. Okay, let's read another verse. If you read 2 Peter 3. 8 to 9. Second Peter 3, 8 to 9. It says what? 3, 8 to 9. It says, nevertheless, do not let this one fact escape your notice. Mm -hmm. Beloved, that with the Lord... One day is like a thousand years. Yes. And a thousand years is like one day. Mm. The Lord does not delay as though he were unable to act. Mm. And is not slow about his promise. Mm. As some count slowness. But is extraordinarily patient toward you. Not wishing for any to perish. But for all to come to repentance. Can you hear that? Hey, Do I? not allow this, this to escape you. Can you hear that? Hey, this is a notice. Yeah, notice. Don't allow this to escape you. That you can suffer, suffer thousand years. But to God, we will say it's one day. You can suffer 1,000 years. 1,000 days. 1,000 years. Other people here, they see you being challenged. Five years. You are becoming a joke. What the Bible says, God 
is patience with you. Even patience to them. God is having long suffering. If he was able to have long suffering with you, would he know God? You must have long suffering too. If God is having long suffering with people who are saying he's not coming, he's not blessing you, he's not raising you, or have also long suffering. Long suffering makes you to stand on the common grounds with God. Long suffering is a character that reveals God in you. You're being challenged. You say, hey, I know my God is with me. I'm not afraid afraid because of what I'm seeing here. Because the trouble that is coming is to Make you to have short time. So, so that you learn. But you say, hey, I must have the character of, of my father. father. If he can have all these years waiting for someone to repent. It means he have a hope when there's no hope. What about me? Long suffering tells you you have hope when there's no hope. You can see the answer when there's no answer. If you hear me say amen. It's a shameful thing to find you developing what you have and try to find another thing where you don't know. You develop what you have. And now, you develop your husband, you want another husband, husband and you don't understand that husband. You develop your wife, and you want another one, you will meet a lion there. No, you can wait with long suffering, understanding that you have hope in this person, and this person will change. In other words, a long suffering man he says, I must have the same character of the one who saved me because he had the same for me before I was saved. This is the character that we find in you. This is the character that brings anointing. And the anointing breaks the yoke. If you want to break the yoke, go through that channel. You have been cooked. Go through that channel. When you have been cooked, when you certainly say it's over, you have been crying. This is the end of the tunnel. Where you will be announced. Where you will be established. Where you will be known. This year, let it happen to you. In the name of Jesus. You can start a business, it falls. You, you carry on with things. Don't change the gear. Just have long suffering. Do you know long suffering makes you to master things? Because it brings experience to you. You begin to understand what you are doing. And you find that you have got to some skills of doing what you are doing. It's long suffering, it brings experience. I've seen many people who move from this pastor to another pastor. Another pastor. They've, got they've got experience of pastors, but they've got no experience of the Holy Spirit. I don't know if you're hearing me. It is time now that you allow this process of God. You are being processed inside the pot, cooked. There are things that must be removed out of you before you reach there, before you announce, before you manifest. This year you must manifest. I said, this year you must manifest. If you are hearing me shout, hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's read this verse. Raise. First Peter 2, 21 Petro, to 23. Listen to what the Lord did here. Petro, it's, Petro, Tomo, chapter 2, 21 it's not only to 22. First Peter 2, 21 to 23. 
This is not only our example. Asi supoyar na fe na. Makes us to be like having yeah. God character. Ya ordinary revele me khoro sa male modima ari bale 21. It says, for as a believer, you have been called for this purpose. Since Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you may follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin. No was deceit ever found in his mouth. While being reviled and insulted, he did not revile or insult in return. While suffering, he made no threats or vengeance, but kept entrusting himself to him who judges fairly. Ay, this is the character of Christ now. Can you hear the character of Christ? Because many of us we want to do what <laughs> Christ did as the Bible says we will do. Check the study dealing to look at the Bible. This character is very touching. This is a very challenging character. I don't know if you are hearing this. We are facing a character. We have Christ with his footsteps. And we are called to walk as he walks. The Bible says there was no disease that was found in his body. There was no disease. I've seen many people on December time December If you want to see people on December time, the way you decorate yourself when you go home, and you meet all these challenges, and these challenges are attack. Didi challenge kama kwa kile attack orina. You meet a schoolmate. O kopa na limu tu zeningi na schoolo kwa haye. Ah, it's you. Yes. You are na ina. You enjoy it. You go to beg it. Hmm. You have, you have, you have done your hands to the best. And the more we wait, let me read it. How we kau ne kama kwa ukona. And the hands are doing like this. Though your head is standing one place. What are you doing in Joburg? 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 You are failing to say it's tough. You say I'm the manager. And you know. <laughs> There's no dissent in our life. Because you know the time is coming. There's nothing to decorate. Ah. Uh -uh. You are a manager. Hey, you can also help me to get a job. Yeah. Give me your number. Give me your number. Ah, the person. Ah, no, I left my phone. You don't have a phone. Ah, get a phone, no. You want to show this person? You are afraid to show that the phone you have. Oh my God! Give me my Google. 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 Give You do papers like this. You put it like this. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a phone. You are afraid to show that you have a And now you got Uber. No, no, get Uber. Tuts it Uber, but but. I saw many people. Keep on the matter of change. I'm sorry if I can tell you this, but. It was so if you give me a letter, man. I saw some people. Keep on the matter of change. Take the skirt of a sister. Just get this as easy. Do makeup of. Do all the makeup of my own. Now you become different. You know what? Fapa na you know what? And steal the shoes of your friend. Actually, do you do you touch up with Mchoz? Take Uber, you're going to meet someone you don't know. You look beautiful. 
And now, where do you stay, Sente? And the brother now meets you there. But you are staying here in Badela Kufa. Kufa. From there, this brother, after the date, you say, hey, let me take you to your apartment. No, 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 no. I'm still praying. Ah, you're praying. Yeah, I'm still fasting. What are you eating here? I want to take it because you know your apartment inside Madela Kufa. I want want to tell you something. God is God of history. He wants to take you from here and bring you here and people have to see. When he put you back, people have to see. Even when he lifts you up, it's for the glory of the living God. Don't try to decorate your life. Don't try to decorate your life. Look at what Jesus here did. There was no deceit. There was no threat. He never said, you know what? I will show you. But you people here, where you are working, sometimes uh, you have these managers who are using charm. Once you discover that your manager is using charm, go to him by faith. And speak to him and say, I want to tell you something. If I don't get promotion this year, I will die. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Because I'm going to kill you. And, and you go away. Here, Jesus was threatened. Was threatened. But he makes, I mean, troubled but he I never make threats. But you, nobody's persecuting you. Those who are persecuting you, tell them the truth by faith. Just go and say, Manager, Manager, I wanted to speak with you. And it's, a, it's a serious issue. Do you know that whatever I say, it happens? The manager said, eh? Hey? Mm-hmm. Where I was working for. Was, things were happening. And now you take your eyes out. <laughs> things were happening. <laughs> Tell your you are coming here by faith. I cannot carry on working this position. Hey, what's going hey? on? No, is that when I speak something? So, I don't want you to. Die. I don't want you to die. So I want my promotion this year. Do something about it. Because I don't want you to say you are going to die. Because it happens. You see managers say, hey, hey, hey. And be serious, turn and go. Serious when I serious Turn and go. Turn it is time now you stand in your position. You are a child of God. You are not a failure. Say, I am a child of God. But here the Bible says, must tolerate. Enduring persecution. Enduring shame. Some of you here, in your family, you are divided. Don't pray back. Don't pray against them. Just endure shame. And say, God, who sees what is hidden will reward me open. If you hear me shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you scriptures very quick. Because, because here, yeah, my time is not accepted that I preach. Let's read this one. Jeremiah 15, verse 15. Jeremiah 15, 15. Yes. It says, Oh Lord, you know and understand. Yes. Remember me thoughtfully. Take notice of me. Take vengeance for me or my persecutors. Do not, in view of your patience, 
take me away. Know that for your sake I endure continual rebuke and dishonor. Did you hear that? It will. Jeremiah was a prophet. He says, for your sake Are I endure you know? rebuke you are being insulted to endure for your sake Lord, I'm enduring for your sake I'm dishonored I endure I believe this year God will see you through from all the challenges you were going through Jeremiah will say oh Lord the challenges I'm going through for your sake because, because of, of you I endure rebuke. Sometimes you are working in a place where you are, are not tolerated. tolerated. You wish to search for a job. That challenges of persecution is promotion for you. I say it's promotion for you. Just endure for a while for his sake. Let's, let's get another scripture. Let's get another scripture. Romans 8. Verse 18 to 19. 18 to 19. Romans 8, 18 to 19 says, For I consider from the standpoint of faith, uh -huh. that the suffering of the present life are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is about to be revealed to us and in us. Mm. For even the whole creation, meaning all nature, waits eagerly for the children of God to be revealed. This shows that there is a time to be revealed. Tell, tell them but there's a time to be revealed. You need to see what is coming by faith. Have a standpoint of faith. This will encourage you to Tolerate to endure, to have long suffering, knowing that what is coming, I'm going to be revealed. I'm not known by now. No one knows me here, but I will be revealed as a son or a daughter. This year, be revealed. I said, be revealed. You must not give up. You must not look at yourself and ask yourself questions. The Lord wants to reveal you. I said the Lord wants to reveal As you. As you are carrying on, facing all the challenges, I'm telling you now, see where you are going by the standpoint of faith. When you stand here, Looking by the physical eyes, you can't see things change. But when you move here and you look by faith, you can see and say, hey, I can see there's a time to be revealed. There's my time. I'm about to reach there. I want to prophesy someone. This year, what is hidden in your life, it will be revealed. I say it will be revealed. The Lord is about to make your name to be known. Nobody can stop it. You know when Saul was anointed to be a king, he even went to hide. They said, where is he? Where is he? There's someone here. You are about to be revealed. Here. People will search for you for that job. They will search for you for that business. They will search for you for that money. Receive that breakthrough. Receive that breakthrough. There's someone here. Who will be revealed. Listen to this. Someone will be removed for you. 
As if someone will be removed from you. There's someone who sits in your seat. This week, that person must be removed. Can you stand up and tell three persons and say, and say hey, you are, you are about to be removed. Or oh, say, prophesy the person and say, oh, hey, say you are taking your place. Your enemy will be removed. Hey, can you tell your neighbor, hey? You are about to take your place and and your enemy will be removed. Can you tell someone it's about to happen? 1 Peter 5 verse 10. I just want to stop here. Just for time. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 says, after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who imparts his blessings and favor, who called you to his own eternal glory in Christ, will himself complete, confirm, strengthen, and establish you, making you what you ought to be. Can you see this scripture is saying, you are not what ought what you are supposed to be. Our sovereign daughter may learn over you. You haven't become what God wants you to be. You haven't become what God wants you to be. But this suffering is just for a little while. The suffering is just for a little while. This sickness is for a little while. The losing of man is for a little while. The things that are meeting is for a little while. There are four things right there. God Himself. God will Himself complete. Confirm. Strengthen. And you will establish. Hallelujah. I want to say something. You cannot be established whilst you don't have money. You cannot say I'm established whilst you don't have money. Eh? That is why the Bible says God himself he will complete. There are things that, in short, that are in shortage in you and God will fill them up. And God will confirm you there will be people who are going to say yes he's the one when you are rich they will say yeah he's the one who is rich you will be confirmed you will be strengthened somebody when he sees you they will be afraid of you you will have power there are some people when they are working. Hey, 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 hey. There is, there is. When you are past, it's like you haven't even passed. And you are a child of God. You must be confirmed. This is the child of God. This one is a child of God. Praise the Lord. Let it happen to you this year. Let it happen to you this year. Let it happen to you this year. When people see you. That family, that family. This one is the one who's prospering. Mm. When they are saying you have prospered, and you have prospered indeed, don't prosper just a little. You must prosper indeed so that they can confirm. 
Your suffering is ending just today. Your suffering is ending today. Your suffering is ending today. God is establishing you. God is establishing these things that are not there in your family. When God establishes you, He gives you things that in your place there is nobody who has it but you alone. Right now you don't have those things. Right now I don't have. But they are coming. They are coming. I have endured. It has been so difficult. I was troubled. I was suffering but they are coming. In fact I am prophesying you they can come to you. Have you seen that in your place? In your family, they listen to a person who has things. Even when you are not there, meeting cannot go on because when you home, it's not yet available because it's just coming late. Knowingly. Coming late knowingly, I said, I'm going where, 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 and you stay and I, and wait. When they will say 10 o'clock, it comes 11 o'clock. Even if you can speak, they say, what is it that he is saying? What is it that you are hearing this person saying? This time, Mutimwana will speak for you. He will speak for you. I say that God speak for you. In the name of Jesus. I thank you. God bless you.